Good evening. Sustainable development. Fine, thank you, and you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Thank you for joining us for the Keep Running Youth Forum on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Please, please help me. First, let me the host tonight, Margarita, Deputy Director of the Mayor's Office of Vienna. Who also has a Chinese name, Guo Si Le. Wow, what an introduction here. Good evening, friends. 各位中国朋友，女士们、先生们，大家晚上好。我本人非常喜欢中国，有朋自远方来，不亦乐乎。已经开始了，开始了，开始了，太紧张了。But first of all, we feel very honored to have a message, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Please give a round of applause to the Austrian Chancellor. Mr. Sebastian Kurz and his message to this evening. Liebe Freunde aus China, herzlich willkommen in Österreich. Ich freue mich sehr, dass die populäre Fernsehserie Keep Running in Österreich gedreht wird. Dass dabei die Möglichkeit besteht, über die UNO, besser gesagt über die Ziele der Vereinten Nationen, die Sustainable Development Goals zu diskutieren, halte ich auch im Sinne der Nachhaltigkeit für ganz entscheidend und richtig. Ich hoffe dass alle, die nach Österreich gereist sind, eine schöne Zeit in unserem Land verbringen können. Ich hoffe aber auch, dass die Fernsehzuseher in China die Möglichkeit haben, unser Land, Österreich als Headquarter der Vereinten Nationen, aber natürlich auch unsere wunderschöne Landschaft etwas näher kennenzulernen. Alles Gute aus Österreich. Aha. Goodbye, every goodbye, everybody. Good evening. You just walked through the entire stage. You think we've been walking through the entire stage? One thousand times, we've never walked through the entire stage. Well, hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome the Keep Running show and the stars to Vienna, and it's really fantastic. Visited the United Nations here too. The United Nations has 193 countries. Some are large, some are small, but all have a role to play. China is a big supporter of the United Nations. It contributes a lot of money to our work. China also has about 2,600 United Nations peacekeepers serving around the world. And China is a big supporter of the Sustainable Development Goals. And that's why we are here. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals are our action plan for a better future for all. The Sustainable Development Goals offer a roadmap for humanity, showing us the way to achieve prosperity, eliminate poverty, and boost everyone's well-being, and to do all of this without damaging the planet any more than we already have. The goals apply to everyone, everywhere. All countries should implement the 17 goals by 2030, but you and I have a role to play. 17 goals. That's an odd number, right? Yes, and it's a prime number, if I remember my maths correctly. Well, countries negotiated long, 
and hard, and many others contributed, students, school children, businesses, civil society, and academics. So 17 is a strong number. It shows how everyone worked together to cover all the challenges that we face. But the biggest challenge is turning our promises into action. You'll be hearing a lot more about the goals today. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to be inspired. So let's all take action in our own lives to make the goals a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Polar. 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 Polar bear. A polar bear. Polar, you don't know. A polar, polar. bear. Polar. Not polar bear, it's Beijing. Hello, everyone. There are two sustainable development goals that are making a big contribution to the fight against poverty and inequality. I'm talking about goal five, to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls, and goal eight, to promote economic growth, employment, and decent work for all. This is Felicidad. She was 16 when this photo was taken in her hometown in Mozambique, in Southern Africa. Felicidad worried about what she would do when she left school. Mozambique, like many other countries, has a high rate of youth unemployment. To make a bit of money, she had been baking and selling cookies, but she had never thought of turning it into a business. Then, she took part in an entrepreneurship course organized by UNIDO at the school. She learned how to develop business ideas. She learned about markets and about supply and demand. On graduating from the course, she set up a small business, making and selling food. Education and skills training are key to unlocking opportunities for all young people. This is especially important for girls, who in many countries face unfair challenges, excluding them from decent jobs and equal pay. This is Kulu Jaraya, who lives in Tunisia, in North Africa. When she was a student at university, she was already working for the family business. Her dream was to build up a business and to run it when her father retired. But she knew she had to strengthen her IT and business skills. Thanks to Unido's e-learning online course, she got the training she needed. She took over the management of the company sale and started to increase production. Today, it's the only Tunisian company producing playground swings and slides, park benches, and other equipment made of steel. This is Huda Janahi from Bahrain in the Middle East. 20 years ago, Huda Janahi began her business with a startup capital of less than $3,000. When she first tried to register her company, she was told that women were not allowed to operate in the cargo business. Janahi refused to accept no for an answer. She turned to Unido for help. After graduating from our entrepreneurship development training, she applied again for registration, and this time she was accepted. With hard work and determination, she turned her small company into a multi-million dollar enterprise. She's now one of the most powerful women in the Arab world. These are just some examples on how we're helping to achieve goal five and goal eight. When women and men are more equal, economies grow faster, and more people are lifted out of poverty. All of us should have the chance to seize the opportunities life offers. This includes the opportunity to work, to make a living, to have a decent and fulfilling job. Guided by the global goals, it is up to all of us, governments, businesses, and individuals to work together to build a better future for everyone. In helping achieve sustainable development global. Kai Kai. 
，给我们打个样。Fight, fighting, fighting， 一起一起，加油来来来，一起一起，一二三，加油！哎，终极挑战英语演讲，英语演讲，我一个人。你是你们所有人里面第一个上台的。He's a famous, charming actor in China. Few of you know him already. 比上春晚还紧张。And he's the fastest man in the team. The topic of his speech will be number six of the sustainable development goal. Water and sanitation will come, Mr. Zheng Kai. Kai Kai, give us a big hand. Fighting, come on, go. Fight! Hey, you're the best. No problem. Slowly say. 你到时候你可以拿半瓶水上去，给他们举个例子说，你看这里有半瓶水，你要加一点这种动作进去，你要把你的感情注入进去。Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Here's a question for you: What would you do with half bottle of water left? Option A: Throw it away. Option B, keep it and drink it later. What's your choice? B, that's nice. It seems that all of you here today is is. Water resources active acts have activists. So we have the first. Activists, 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 activists. Water resource activists. I'm really happy to see that. Well done. Many people are not aware of this situation of water shortage. For example, let's have a look at this picture. According to the service. The total amount of bottled water wasted in one day globally can supply a million children for three days, maybe even longer. So clean water and sanitation is the sixth goal on the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. 六六六六六六六六六。China has a popular saying: It means that water and land are our heritage and ultimate wealth. People have started taking action to preserve our resources. Of course, we can do it. No problem. No problem. We continue our work. So, I believe. We can all make a difference in this world, starting with saving bottle of water. Thank you very much. He is the first one to come out of the group. He is also a very pressure-filled task. His performance is very good. He has all the talent of the past and the talent of the future. Another big thank you to Mr. Chen Kai. Where would you like you to first watch this video? So climate change. 等一下，等一下。Climate change. 呵。And. 等一下，我现在脑子空白了，我已经。脑子空白了。我已经空白了。先别打断我，先别打断我，求你了。我空白了。紧张的。Climate change. Climate change caused by human activity. Activity. 空白了。
Does anyone have any idea what that was? A guess? No? Sorry? Exactly, those were whales picked up at a CTBTO's monitoring station. This is one of the locations that our stations are set up on. What does this mean? What is CTBTO? The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization bans nuclear tests by everyone, everywhere. Essentially, we're a scientific organization that has over 300 different types of monitoring stations around the world that are used to detect if a nuclear test has occurred. In fact, China already has six stations up and running with more to come. Why is CTBTO relevant? Well, obviously, no nuclear tests equals a more safer world to live in and a more sustainable way of life. So, CTBTO uses science to prevent people from doing awful things with science. However, the technology we use to detect nuclear testing also has numerous positive scientific spin-offs. Like what? How does CTBTO contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals? For Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, we can use our seismic stations. What do seismic stations do? They detect earthquakes. We pass on this data to early warning tsunami centers, which has the potential to save many lives. Seven years ago, in March, a magnitude 9 earthquake occurred off the coast of Japan, triggering powerful tsunami waves with heights the size of the Statue of Liberty. In the tragic aftermath, we learned that CTBTO early warning data gave some people time to escape to higher ground. However, it wasn't only our seismic stations that contributed in this event. Our hydroacoustic stations detected the tsunami's pressure wave. This allowed the tsunami to be tracked and its progress across the Pacific towards Japan. Now, imagine you're able to track something dangerous coming your way. Think about it, what benefits that has. But let's backtrack. What is hydroacoustic? Hydroacoustic stations listen to sounds underwater. Simple. We use technology called hydrophones, which are essentially like karaoke microphones, but underwater. These hydrophones help us understand life below water, Sustainable Development Goal 14. This is particularly relevant when it comes to marine mammals. Why? We can use whale recordings, like the one we heard, to understand whale populations, whale behavior, their migration patterns. Just think how this knowledge can contribute in conservation efforts, not only for whales, but for life below water in general. So, there really is more to CTBTO than meets the eye. We strive for a nuclear test-free world, but also we sustain cities and communities, and we listen to life below water. Personally, as a CTBTO youth group member, I'm quite proud to help grow this organization and to remind policymakers that the future belongs to our generation. If you've found this interesting, please join the CTBTO youth group, get involved. Thank you very much. 下面下一个之后，然后是谁？是我们吗？是我们。是。你确定吗？你确定吗？是我们吗？是我们俩。不阻拦吗？怎么办呀？啊！哦，空白了，我也空白了。Our joint division helps the international community achieve two sustainable development goals to end poverty and hunger. We contribute to these sustainable development goals by helping countries use nuclear and isotopic techniques to improve agricultural yield and quality, thus increasing food availability and the livelihood of farmers and hungry and malnourished people. In other words, 
We are using atoms to better the lives of people all over the world. The first sustainable development goal is to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. Because most of the extreme poor live in rural areas, most depend on agriculture for their livelihoods and food security. For example, in Sudan, agriculture is the principal source of income and livelihood for 60 to 80 percent of the population. Here, we have introduced water-saving techniques that dramatically decrease water use while still increasing crop yield. Isotope techniques are also being used to optimize fertilizer application so that soil and water resources are protected while still allowing crops to flourish. Altogether, this has led to a significant increase in net profits, thus improving the livelihood of farmers. The success of these methods is now being passed on from village to village by champion farmers such as the woman being displayed. The second sustainable development goal is to end hunger by achieving food security and improved nutrition and by promoting sustainable agriculture. In Bangladesh alone, seasonal famine occurs often and food becomes scarce. Today, a crop breeding program using nuclear techniques has provided farmers in Bangladesh with new rice varieties that produce more grain and take less time to grow. This has increased annual rice harvest by over 25% since 2003. Because these new rice varieties take less time to grow, there's also time for farmers to produce a second crop during the growing period and further increase food production. Other foods, such as vegetables, pulses, and oil seeds, can now also be produced during the growing period, thus improving family nutrition. Continuing work to help the international community end poverty and hunger is important to our joint division, and we are continuously developing ways to help use atoms to better the lives of people all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Very genius celebrity who can sing, act, host TV shows. energy and climate action. Please welcome Mr. Lee Chen and Mr. Chen He. I believe. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I am Li Chen. I'm Chen He. Good evening. Before we begin our speech today, we would like you to first, to first, to first, to first to watch with this video. Watch this video. Watch this video. This video. Watch this video. 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 V -v 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 video. We would you like you to first watch this video. This is Baffin Island, Canada. A polar bear is walking to us. He is looking for food, but there is nothing for him except 
a dry bone. Their p 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 The polar bear is helpless. He has no choice but to wait for death. We stood there crying, filming with tears rolling down our face. With tears rolling down our face. <laughs> Climate change caused by human activity threatens our being, our Earth, and the future of our planet. The clock is ticking. It's ticking. Sustainable, sustainable develop, develop, man, development. Sustain, sustainable, sustain, sustainable. Why is it so difficult? The clock is ticking. This Liang Hongbo has a short SDG. SDG 就是 Sustainable Development。啊，我可以读一下，看看能不能行。有一个缩写叫 SDG。SDG。SDG。SDG。Thirteen. Climate action. Calls on every one of us to take urgent action. 陈赫，他有一个经常是不太容易过去的，就是 Sustainable Development。利用他的缩写叫 SDG。联合国也是认可的。Now we have learning about the situation faced by polar bears. Let us have a look at a Chinese panda. Can anyone guess what this is? Panda. No. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Panda. panda, yes. No, 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 it's really panda. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, this is a factor, a solar power station in Datong, Shanxi, designed in the image of the panda. Tonight, we are pleased to have the mother of the panda designed here at our forum. Please, welcome from Hong Kong, Miss Adelie. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. One day, an idea lit up in my mind. Why not bring the cute panda, a symbol of China and a messenger of peace, together with the solar panels to create a solar power station? Reducing air pollution through the use of clean energy is one effective way of responding to climate change. Thank you, Ada. Thank you. Small step can make a big difference. If we all can action together, we can change, change the, the world. world. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the night. They are really very easy. These two people are too easy. Relax. 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 Relax.
More than 40 years ago, I was a child in a country going through conflict. I was surrounded by adults and children in fear of losing their lives. People trying to run away to a place of safety. There was no water, no electricity, no food. Schools were closed. And as I hid under the bed, I remember asking myself, who knows we're here? Who will hear us? Who will rescue us? Those questions run through my head over 40 years ago are still relevant today. Did anyone hear our voices? Did anyone act to protect us? Has anything changed? Well, there is now a global commitment to create a better world where everyone can live in peace and prosperity. We at the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime are working towards reducing inequality within and between countries and on peace, justice, and strong institutions. When there is conflict, people try to move to a place of safety. In conflict situations, Criminals not only take advantage of the disorder and the chaos, they also take advantage of people's fear of being attacked and harmed. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime and others promote the safe movement of people to places of safety. We help countries restore order by training officials to be able to identify and assist people who may be caught up with human trafficking. It has done this recently by running a nationwide anti-human trafficking campaign during a 100-day period where over 10,000 people, including children, and young people participated in live TV programs like this one, live radio phone shows, a bicycle marathon, and musical contests. A society will be judged by how it treats its people. Everyone should live in a place where there is peace, where they feel safe, and have equal access to everything from education to jobs and healthcare. So let's have a heart, let's hear their voices and act to protect. Thank you. Another big thank you to Margaret Akulo. Hurt. 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 Let's welcome together Mr. Deng Chao and Madame Angela Baby.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Deng Chao. My name is Angela Baby. Oh. <clears throat> what is? You know? <laughs> you. Zhiyaba. <laughs> oh my god, you English good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. okay, this is called acupressure mat, which is often seen in our TV show. Yes. It can massage the foot. It can increase blood circulation of body. We have played a lot of games on this mat. Who wants to play? Who wants to play? Who wants to play? Raise hands. Here. Oh. Wow. You see this? Handsome. You? Please. Cool, yeah. come on. Come on. Wow. Hey. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Christoph. Huh? Christoph. Huh? Christoph. Uh, Christoph. Christoph. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> take off your shoes. Stand here. You like sports? You like sports? Oh! <laughs> oh, jump. Okay. Okay? Yes. Are you ready? How much? How much? Yeah. Maybe, um... Um... Amazing! Oh my god! You are so beautiful! I love you! Forever! 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 Forever? Forever? <laughs> cool. Are you ready? Mm. Go. One, one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, nine, ten. Six, nine, ten. Go. Two. Yeah. Whoa. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Wow, for crazy! <laughs> Heart. 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 A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, you are very, very strong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Please. We all know that sport is the best way to stay healthy. Under the Doha Declaration, UNODC has launched a global youth crime prevention initiative. This program uses sports to help young people develop life skills, improve social skills, and stay away from violence, crime, and drugs while having fun. Yes, I agree. We play sports on our show. We show people's sports is good, like high jumping, basketball, football, and uh, jump rope. We have jump rope with many people. Guys, how many? Guess. What? What? 10? No. More. 50? No. More. More. 22? 700. Uh, 400? Oh, no. that, that's too much. <laughs> okay. 73 people in one time. Amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Amazing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> As a mother, I really hope that my child and every child in the world will grow up happy and healthy. But unfortunately, each year, more than six million children die before five years old. Therefore, health 
as extremely important. As a father, I believe every child can have education. But many, many, many children are out of school. Please, please, please help them. Children are our future, so please help them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.那其实邓超和Baby上台的时候,心里真的是为他们捏一把汗。那当他们一上台开口说第一句话的时候,我的心就放下了,因为我觉得他们已经找回自己的状态,也找到自己的自信。很好,我们在上面已经垮了。想
Su Lan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lu Han. Woo! Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we begin our speech, uh, I would like to make a bet with you. I bet 100 RMB, Chinese money, oh. that everyone, everyone here okay. thinks I'm more handsome than him. What? Okay. This is a no way. Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay, now, please raise your hand. If you think I'm more handsome than him, please handsome? raise your hand. Raise Hands your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. Raise your hand. Raise no, your no, hand. No, 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 no. What? No. Thank you. I love you all. I love you all. Okay, now it's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Please, please raise your hand. If please. You think. Please. He is more <coughs> handsome than me. Now, okay? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Oh, yay, 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 yay! I win, I win. Okay, uh, can you transfer your money to me? No. Please. Oh, just kidding, okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> Uh, we both got a wallet in our yeah. phones. So, uh, done? Yeah, done. Okay. Mm. Lu Han, 100 RMB. Thank uh, you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you just saw is mobile payment. It has recently become quite popular in China. Mobile payment can make our lives so much easier. In fact, I have not carried cash with me a long time. Well, me too. Oh. In fact, most Chinese people are like that now. Most Chinese people know that the compass, gunpowder, paper making, and printing are the four great inventions of ancient China that steered our history. Today, the country has stepped into a new era. Another four great new inventions are improving the quality of life. I would also like to share with you guys my own experience with the high-speed reel. Actually, I'm really, really, really afraid of traveling by air. But often, I have to give an interview in Beijing in the morning and fly to Hangzhou for filming in the same evening. The two cities are 1,200 kilometers away from each other. This is the same distance as between Vienna and Paris. Wow. But thanks to the high-speed rail, there's now a better option for me to travel long distance. Yeah, it's so true. He is really, really, really afraid of aeroplanes. Yeah, really. I believe that through cooperation with other countries, the new inventions of modern China will also benefit the world. Finally, let us tell you about Global Go 17. In 2015, world leaders adopted the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda that aims to end poverty, reduce inequalities, and combat climate change. We must come together, government, civil society, scientists, academia, and the private sector must unite to achieve these global goals hand in hand. The world is a big family, and we are all in this big family. Just like the slogan we often say in the show, We are family!
At the end of our youth forum today, we would like to call on everyone because we still have a long way to go before we achieve these 17 sustainable development goals. So, please take action. One, two, three. Keep running! Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.身在何处的感觉，因为我觉得我不可能完成这个事情。看到我们每一个人往台上走的那个过程，包括在台下的时候，我就想起了我们太多太多的画面了。说如果我们不路跑，真的没有机会，没有机会做各种各样的事情。真的感觉到团队的每一个人，从红毯、镜头走上来，然后他们说的每一个字、每一句话，就希望好棒、好厉害、好棒、好骄傲、好骄傲、好骄傲。